want to indulge in an argument Nata, or a discourse nataka tuingie katika mjadala ama mdahalo fulani of how to attain the grace for superior results ya jinsi ya kuafikia neema ya kupata matukio bora in one word i'm talking about fruitfulness kutumia neno moja na nena kuhusu uzalishaji matunda our key scripture is John 15 verse number 1 to 2 then I go to verse number 8. Andiko letu ni Yohana 15 mstari wa kwanza na wa pili kisha nitasoma mstari wa 8. The agenda of the objective of this preaching this morning maada ama lengo ya mahubiri asubuhi ya leo is to help you and me align our lives ni kukusaidia wewe na mimi tuweke maisha yetu sambamba with the promise for fruitfulness na ile ahadi ya kuzaa matunda and to tap into the anointing na kuweza kutegea na kupata upako on assignment of confirming the word of god iliyo katika kazi ya kudhibitisha neno la Mungu. For in Exodus chapter number 23 verse 25 to 26 you don't have to open there. Kutoka 23 mstari wa 25 na 26. There is a covenant promise for all the people that serve God. Kuna agano la kia, eh, kuna ahadi ya maagano ya kila mmoja anayemtumikia Mungu. And the Lord said unto Moses if you will serve me. Bwana akamwambia Musa ikiwa utanitumikia. Then I will bless your water and I will bless your food. Basi nitabariki maji yako nitabariki chakula chako. Then too I will take away all these sicknesses that are upon the Egyptians. Ya pili ni kwamba nitatoa magonjwa haya yote yaliyo juu ya Wamisri. And three no woman no animal shall be barren or cast its young one before time. Ya tatu ni kwamba hakuna mwanamke hakuna mnyama ambayo itakuwa tasa ama kuavi ya mimba kabla ya wakati wake. And four is that I will fulfill all your days you will die in old age ya ine ni kwamba nitatimiza siku zako zote utakufa ukiwa mzee and i believe with the whole of my heart that that is applicable in my day and in my season and in your season too naamini ya kwamba hiyo inaweza kutendeka siku hizi zangu na katika maisha yako pia and so shall it be to everyone that believeth ndivyo itafanyika kwa kila atakayeamini food and water is blessed maji yao na chakula chao kitabarikiwa i decree and i declare prophetically in this place natangaza na nasema kiunabii mahali hapa to all that serve god out of a sincere heart wote wanaomtumikia mungu kwa moyo the diseases that were cast upon the egyptians will not be coming near your dwelling magonjwa yaliyowapata wa misri haitakaribia makao yako you shall not be barren in any area of your life hautakuwa tasa katika eneo lolote maisha you shall not be barren of mental ideas hautakosa mawazo you shall not be barren in the womb of your body hautakuwa tasa katika mwili wako you shall not be barren in the works of your hands hautakuwa tasa kwa kazi ya mikono yako you shall not be barren in the works of life hautakuwa tasa katika mwili wako you shall not be barren in matters concerning ministry hautakuwa tasa katika huduma you shall not be barren in matters investment hautakuwa tasa katika There is a covenant promise that God gives to them that trust and believe in him. Kuna ahadi ya kimaagano ambayo Mungu anawapatia wote wanaomwamini. And I can speak to us prophetically today. Naweza kunena kiunabii siku ya leo. That God by his grace upon our lives. Mungu kwa neema yake juu yetu. Has brought us to a place of rest like Rehoboth. Ametuleta mahali pampumziko kama Rehoboth. We got a rest and a place where we can rest. Tuko na mahali ambapo tuwaweza kupumzika. The spiritual contention that has been there hindering fruitfulness has already been overtaken by the anointing roho ya mingengano na vita ambayo imekuwa ikizuia kuzaa matunda imeshindwa na upako there is a complete surrender to every principality on assignment to contend with your fruitfulness kila sultani iliyotumwa kungengana na kukupinga usizae matunda sasa hiyo sultani imeshindwa and so shall genesis chapter number 1 and verse number 28 be fulfilled in the life of every one of you you shall be fruitful you shall multiply you shall replenish the earth and you shall be in dominion ndivyo kitabu cha mwanzo 1:28 itatimia maishani mwako utabarikiwa 
utazaa matunda utaongezeka na utatawala if you believe those words there shall be a performance kama unaamini hayo maneno yatatendwa you shall have a token that will be approved that you are a man of faith utakuwa na kifurushi kitakachothibitisha kwamba wewe ni mtu wa imani there will be a testament in your life that you trusted the lord utakuwa una ushahidi maishani mwako kwamba umemwamini mungu you shall be evidence that it is not in vain to put your trust in jehovah utakuwa shahidi tosha ya kwamba si bure kuweka tumaini lako kwa jehovah chapter number 15 verse number 1 to 2 yohana 15 mstari wa kwanza na wa pili i am the true vine mimi ndimi mzabibu wa kweli and my father is the husbandman na baba yangu ndiye mkulima every branch in me that beareth not fruit he take the way kila tawi ndani langu lisilozaa uliondoa and every branch that beareth fruit he purges it that it may bring forth more fruit na kila tawi lizaalo ulisafisha ili lizidi kuzaa verse number 8 the bible tells us mstari wa 8 biblia yatuambia here in is my father glorified hivyo hutukuzwa baba yangu that you bear much fruit kwa vile mzaavyo sana So shall you be my disciples. Nanyi mtakuwa wanafunzi wangu. In the kingdom of God, katika ufalme wa Mungu, there are spiritual laws and processes. Kuna kanuni za kiroho na pia njia za kiroho which are responsible for superior results. Ambazo huwajibika ili mtu apate matukio bora. Which in Genesis is known as dominion. Ambayo katika mwanzo inajulikana kama utawala. One of the laws that is necessary when a pride in life is the law of fruitfulness kanuni moja wapo ambayo ni muhimu inapotekelezwa maishani ni kanuni ya kuzaa matunda it is important for you to understand that god has blessed you with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in christ jesus ni muhimu uelewe kwamba mungu amekubariki na baraka zote za kiroho katika ulimwengu wa rohoni ndani ya kristo yesu the ability to be fruitful is domiciled within you uwezo wa kuzaa matunda imo ndani yako that is what we call potential ndio tuwaita uweza it was deposited as god created you iliwekezwa ndani yako mungu alipokuumba none of you have any reason why you should not be fruitful hakuna yeyote aliye na sababu ni kwa nini hawezi kuzaa matunda for the bible says and god blessed them biblia inasema naye mungu akawabariki he deposited in them akaweka hazina ndani yao he wired them akawaunda to have that potential wawe na hiyo uwezo to be fruitful ya kuzaa matunda and to multiply na kujumulika and to replenish na kuhuisha please believe in you tafadhali amini ndani yako and believe the word of god na uamini neno la mungu that you have the potential to be fruitful ya kwamba una ile uwezo ya kuzaa matunda you don't have to go shopping for that capacity sio haustahili kuenda kununua huo uwezo i want to say to every one of you ningependa kuambia kila mmoja wenu that you are a candidate for fruitfulness ya kwamba wewe uhitimu kuzaa matunda irrespective of your genetic makeup haijalishi genetic makeup yako irrespective of environmental conditioning haijalishi hali za kimazingira i want to declare to you nataka nikutangazie domiciled within you inadumu ndani yako It's the ability to do exploits. Ile uwezo ya kutenda maajabu. It's the capacity to bring forth superior results. Ni uwezo wa kuleta matukio bora. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina kuu la Yesu. When you believe that, ukishaamini hiyo, then you position yourself. Basi utajiweka mahali. The Bible tells us in Revelation 1:6 Biblia inatuambia katika ufunuo moja sita that because of that capacity kwa sababu ya huo uwezo then God has made us kings and priests unto our God basi Mungu ametufanya wafalme na makuhani kwake Mungu to him be glory and dominion forever and ever wake utukufu na utawala uwe every one of you kila mmoja wenu has the capacity to reign uko na uwezo wa kutawala i want you to believe me today nataka uniamini leo believe the 
word of God. It's just a matter of time. And the king in you will show up. The priest in you will show up. And when the king shows up, the Paris will show up. When the king shows up, the resources will show up. When the king shows up, the divine helpers will be there. When the king shows up, men of influence will be there. Oh, it is just a matter of time that the king in you will show up. And when he shows up, then you will be accorded the privileges, the opportunities, and all the resources that a king demands. I want to let you know you've been made a king and the Bible says he has made us kings. He has made us priests and to our God. And there is one reason. Why? So that we may reign over the earth. The king in you is coming up. And that poverty will know I cannot stay with the king. Oh, I cannot stay with the king. When the king arises, there are some crowds that are going to live your life. When the king arises, there are names that are going to live your life. When the king arises, there is a company that will say, we are not not in that category. I want to let you know when you grow into a kingship then there are things that will live your life. There are stories that must change. There are narratives that must take a different direction. I want to decree and I declare that let the time be hastened. Let the time be hastened for you to show up as a king. For you to show up as a priest in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to let you you know, the anointing flowing in this house, it is to give you a testament, it is to make you a token, and people will say, he has what kings have, he has the glory of the king, he has the splendor of the king, he has the authority of the king, he has the talking of a king, he is no longer ordinary, because there is a grace, there is an anointing, there is a power, that is bringing released by this altar as it was with Saul he went on his way looking for donkeys but when he was coming back he had already gotten an encounter he left home as a donkey seeker but by the time he went back home he was a king everybody was buying everybody was saluting him because there was an anointing that provoked the anointing the kingship in him and the Bible tells us the time to seek donkeys came to an end as you step into your office of being a king I want to declare may the season of you looking for donkeys come to an end come to an end every harassment every mockery every ridicule every embarrassment every shame every morning, every fear, let it come to an end, because you're bragging into an anointing that takes up the struggle, that takes up the hustle, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, this church is not for hustlers, this church is for kings, this church is for kings, hustling is a demonic language, it puts us into captivity, we are not hustlers, there is a smell that must leave you David stepped into his father's house smelling the sheep and the goats in the field but by the time he encountered Samuel oh, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit he stepped into the house as a shepherd but by the time he stepped out he was no longer he was no longer now listen
listen to me. Sikiza. There are three things that distinguishes a king. Kuna vitu tatu ambazo humtofautisha mfalme. One is his word. Ya kwanza ni neno lake. The word of the king is law. Maneno ya mfalme ni sheria. And where the word of the king is. Mahali neno la mfalme ni There is power. Kuna uwezo. I decree and I declare. Natangaza. He will no longer be powerless. Hautakosa uwezo. At your word. Ukisema. At your word. Utakaposema. You will decree a thing. Utatangaza jambo. And it shall be established. Because where the word of the king is. Mahali neno la mfalme ni sheria. There is power. Kuna uwezo. I'm talking about commanding superior results. When you are a king, you have few words of explanation. You are a man of demonstration. Second thing is that where the king is, there is a crown. Every king has a crown. And that is what the Holy Spirit is putting upon you. Not only your words are going to be powerful, but you are going to be a man of authority. You shall command Lancer. You will speak to the powers of darkness. And they shall surrender. Because there is an authority. There is an authority. I prophesy by the help of the Holy Spirit that you will become a voice in the land those that ignored your generations shall now hear you and turn to you the money that ran from your family shall be called and will come to you running the people the things that your family missed I want to say to you today so shall it be in your life that in this season and time you are stepping into a kingly anointing there is an authority that is resting upon you. One, you're a man of power. Two, you're a man of authority. The third thing that the king will always carry is called the scepter. If he lifted it up, doors are opened. If he puts it down, doors are closed. By this anointing of the kingly and the priestly anointing, you are lifting up the scepter and there are doors you are opening and whatsoever you shall open, no man shall cross. Whatever you shall cross, no man! Hallelujah! There is an anointing to command superior results in the mighty name of Jesus. You are a king. You are a priest. And to our God. And by your word you shall command. And by your crown they shall bow to your authority. And by your scepter there are doors you will open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you getting in church? The spirit of hassling we reject it. Roho ya kungengana tunaikata. We are not hasslers. Sisi siyo mahasslers. We could be in the situation we are in today. Tunaweza kuwa katika halizetu leo hii. But this is not our final version. Lakini hiyo siyo version yetu ya mwisho. You never heard me. Hauku nisikia. Where you are today. Mahali uko leo. There is a better you. Kuna wewe bora. There is a better version. Kuna version bora. There is a better version of yourself. Kuna mfano. Let nobody misuse you. Let nobody misguide you. Let nobody make you take advantage of your present in the of your present situation. I am confidently say before Jehovah, we are on a pilgrimage. 
Tukukuwa better place. Kuenda we have on our way to the parish. Darkness take me that I am a donkey seeker. Darkness take me that I am a shepherd boy. Darkness take me that I am a farmer. I am a king. I am wired. Nimeundwa. With a king ray anointing. It's just a matter of time. And I step onto the throne. Lifting up my scepter. Putting on my crown. And I will speak and my word. Will become law. You are ordained. To command superior results. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus himself speaking. He said I am the true vine. Akasema mimi ndimi mzabibu wa kweli. And you are the branches. Na wewe ndiye matawi. And he said unto us. Na natuambia. His father is the husband man. Baba yake ndiye mkulima. Apostle Paul speaking in Romans 11. Mtume Paulo akinena katika warumi kumina moja. Chapter number, verse number 17. He uses a horticultural word. Mstari wa kumina saba anatumia neno la kiukulima. Which is. Helps us to understand how we became branches to the true vine. For he says in verse number 17, and I want somebody to really get this. He says, but if some of the branches were broken off, and you, being a world olive tree, we are grafted. In among the others. Tukachongwa, tukaingizu wakati ya zile zingine. And now we share in the nourishing root. Na sasa tuwashiriki katika ile mzizi ya kuhuisha. Of the olive tree. Ya ule mti wa mzaituni. Please understand. Tafadhali elewa. You never qualified. How kuhitimu. To be a member of. Or a branch in the olive tree. Kuwa mshiriki ama tawi katika ule mti wa mzabibu. You never qualified. Wewe hau kuitimu. Into that place of fruitfulness. Kuingia mahali pale pa kuzaa matunda. You were not a king by right. Wewe kwa haki hau kwa mfalme. But the Bible tells us. Lakini biblia ya tuambia. That a branch was broken. Ya kumba tawi lili tolewa. And this tawi. Branch that was broken were caught the Israelites. Na hi tawi ilio ondolewa wali itwa wa Israel. The Bible says he came to his own. Bibili na sema alikuja kwa wali yao wake. His own did not receive him. Wali yao wake hawa kumpoke. Out of their disobedience, kwa ajili ya kuasi, they were broken from the very, very true vine. Wakavunjwa wakatolewa kutoka kwa ule mtu wa kweli. And we that were far off. Na sisi tulio kuwa mbali. By name we were world olives. Sisi tulikuwa mzaituni wakule mtu. The Bible tells us we were Gentiles in the past. Biblia inatuambia tulikuwa watu wa mataifa. We didn't qualify to become partakers of the kingry and the priestly anointing that flows in Jesus. Hatu kukua tumehitimu kushiriki Ile upako ilio tiririka kutoka kwa Yesu ya kifalme. Please follow me so that I can ground you. Tafadhali ni fuate ili ni kueka msingi. But a branch was broken off. Lakini tawi li kangolewa. And a space was created for us. Na fasi tukaundiwa. And the Bible says. Biblia inasema. We were engrafted. Tuka chongewa pale. To the main branch. Kwa ile tawi ya kwele. For as many as believed in him. Despite we were wild olives. We were now engrafted to the main stem. Such that what is in Christ. Who is the main, who is the main, who is the, main, who is the, main, the true vine. Now flows in us. There are two words that the Bible uses. He says you were engrafted. So that you can and receive nourishment. What flows in Christ. By nature is supposed to be flowing 
commanded demons out. If you are in Christ, you can Christ. do it. If he healed leprosy, if you are in Christ, you can do it. If he raised the dead, if you are in Christ, you can do it. If he, Christ, you can do it. If he whipped the people, if he whipped the people, God is using the temple. If you are in Christ, the seal of God for his house shall be in you. If he pray through the night, if he pray through the night, on his knees, crying to the Father, that capacity, that grace, that anointing for prayer and intercession flowing through him is replicable can be reproduced if you are alive if you are in Christ Jesus if you are in Christ Jesus if you are in Christ Jesus whatever he did the Bible says greater things I am saying greater things Jesus himself says the things I did greater things shall you do if he fed 5,000 we can feed 5,000 if he fed 5,000 4,000. You can have the capacity to do it. The king re-anointing, the priest re-anointing. Kings don't talk about luck. You are known to be a king because at one time you can feed the whole village. Hey. Hey. Here the word of the Lord. Within a kingship. Is the capacity to supply. Kunayo uwezo ya utualizi. Kings don't think about themselves. They think about the community. And God gives you the capacity to have more than enough. Not only for yourself, but for the others in need. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I decree and I declare that the anointing on assignment to make you a king will fulfill that. I want to let you know like Samuel I will not return like Samuel I will not return until this anointing oil of making you a king rests upon your hand we are in Christ for nourishment to manifest superior results we are in Christ for support Two important things. Christ nourishes us. Christo hutulisha. Whatever is in him flows to us. Kilicho ndani yake chatiririka ndani yetu. Jesus himself speaking. Yesu mwenyewe akinena. He puts his creed to us. Akatuonyesha wazi wazi. That we must contend to demonstrate superior results. Lazima tupigane vita ili tuweze kudhihirisha matukio bora. Their characters. Kuna, kuna wahusika waku. There, is, there is a character. Aha, kuna tabia fulani. There is a language. Kuna lugha fulani. There is an aura. Kuna harufu fulani. There is a glory. Kuna utukufu. That is resemblance to kingship. Ambayo yafanana na ile ya kiufalme. And I am just standing on this altar. Nasimama katika haya madhabahu. To create faith for you. Ili ni kuundia imani. By preaching the word of God. Ninapo hubiri neno la mungu. So that you believe that you can demonstrate superior results. Ili wamini ya kwamba unaweza kudhihirisha matukio makuu. These superior results are supposed to be quantitative. Matukio haya bora ya nastahili kuwa. Ya nastahili kuwa bora. Jesus said much fruit. Yesu wakasema matunda mengi. More fruit. Matunda nyingi. They are supposed to be both qualitative. Zinastahili kuwa bora. They are supposed to be quantitative. Na pia zastahili kuwa nyingi. Superior results. Matukio makuu. Are not just results. Sio matukio tu ya kawaida. They are results that contend and compete for themselves in the market. Ni matukio ambayo hujipigania zikiwa sokoni. There are ideas that overrule other ideas. Ni mawazo bunifu ambazo zinashinda mawazo mengine. Superior results from our mind. Matukio bora kutoka kwa mawazo. Are going to be ideas that are going to compete 
in the world and win because they are qualitative and quantitative. Ni wazo ambazo zitajipigania kule sokoni na zitashinda maana zina ubora na pia zina uwingi. The principle of fruitfulness is like this. Kanuni ya kuzaa matunda yafanana hivi. Once you are fruitful ukishazaa matunda the next level is multiplication kiwango kinachofuata ni kuongezeka once you come up with an idea ukipata wazo once you come up with an idea ukishapata wazo then that idea is duplicated hilo wazo la chapishwa over and over mara tena na tena to bring superior results ili ilete matukio mengi i pray that from today naomba tangia leo you conceive in your spirit ndani ya roho yako grace to bring forth neema ya kuzalisha superior ideas mawazo bora oh superior ideas mawazo bora superior ideas mawazo bunifu bora i want to let you know nataka nikujulishe you can bring an idea waweza kupata wazo ambayo itajipigania ambayo itajipigania wewe mwenyewe amen I have a covenant with God. Niko na agano na Mungu. I got this covenant many years. Niliingia kwa hii agano miaka nyingi. The Lord said my children Bwana akasema watoto wangu will be mighty in the land. Watakuwa hodari katika nchi. Both my spiritual and physical children. Wana wangu niliowazaa na wana wa kiroho. They shall be mighty in the land. Watakuwa hodari katika nchi. It happens to me. Kama ilifanyika maisha yangu. By right it will happen to your children. Haki itafanyika kwa watoto wangu. The children of this altar. Watoto wa haya madhabahu. The children of this altar. Wana wa haya madhabahu. Are superior. Ni bora. Hallelujah. They are superior. Ni bora. They are superior. Ni watoto bora. They are superior results. Ni matukio bora. The Bible tells me in Psalms 112. Biblia inaniambia katika Zaburi 112. They shall be mighty in the land. Watakuwa hodari katika nchi. Wealth and riches shall be in their house. Mali na utajiri zitakuwa nyumbani mwao. They are mediocre things you cannot transfer to your children if you belong to this house kuna vitu za kiwastani hauwezi kuwapishia watoto wako kama wewe ni wa hii nyumba if you inherited poverty kama ulirithi umaskini you have no right hauna haki you have no right hauna haki to hand it over to your children ya kupishia watoto wako umaskini it is stopped on this altar inamalizikia kwa haya madhabahu it is stopped on this altar inakuishia kwa haya madhabahu this altar we are drawing a right <laughs> katika haya madhabahu tuachora mstani these have embarrassed me kuna vitu zimeniaibisha that they embarrass my children hazitaibisha watoto wangu these have embarrassed my life kuna vitu zimeniaibisha they will not embarrass my children hazitaibisha watoto wangu because i have come to a place ni mefika mahali there is a covenant mahali kuna agano superior resource ya matukio bora Bible says Biblia inasema they shall read, read their affairs with discretion watashughulikia mambo yao kwa hekima their righteousness endureth forever haki yao itadumu milele the bible tells us Biblia inatuambia for superior seeds zile mbegu bora Those superior seeds zile mbegu bora will not be borrowing hazita kopa kopa Our children watoto wetu shall be mighty in the land. Watakuwa hodari katika nchi. The inji. ideas you're going to bring forth. Ideas ambazo utazalisha. In that area from this altar. Katika hilo eneo kutoka kwa haya madhabahu. Business. Iwe ya biashara. Be it in farming. Iwe ya kukulima. Be it in entrepreneurship. Iwe ya kufanya be biashara. Be it in manufacturing. Iwe ya kuunda. Be it in built environment. Iwe ya be environment na ujenzi. Be it in philosophy. Iwe philosophy. Be it in sociology. Iwe katika Every sociology. Every area Where you step in mahali ah, utaingia somebody here sikia mtu hapa is coming up with a school mtu hapa anaanza coming up with a school mtu hapa atanzisha shule so unique ya kipekee that only a few people watu wachache tu will be able to get access wataweza kupata nafasi it is so unique itakuwa ya kipekee people will be fighting to get admission into that school watu watapigania kupata admission kwa hiyo shule i am talking about superior ideas na nena kuhusu wazo bora there is somebody here by the help of the holy spirit kuna mtu hapa nikisaidiwa na roho you are going to come up with a recipe wewe utapata recipe for a meal ya chakula that will go into the market 
And everybody will be saying, I must look for that meal. Ah. Be open up to the Spirit of God. Right now there is a deposit that is taking place in the Spirit for superior ideas. I am saying superior ideas. I am saying superior ideas. Receive it now. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There shall be a performance. Luke chapter number 1 verse 45. Luke moja arubaine There shall be a performance unto her. Patakuwa na kutendewa ye. These are the words of Elizabeth to Mary. Haya ni maneno ya Elizabeth aliyo mnenea Maria. Luke 1 45. Luke moja arubaine na tano. And says blessed is she who believes. Kubarikiwa ni yeye aminiwa. For there shall be a fulfillment. Patakuwa kutimiziwa. There shall be a performance. Patakuwa na utendaji. To those things you were turned. Kwa zile vitu ulizo ambiwa. Oh which were told to her from the Lord. Alizo ambiwa na buwana. And as the Lord speaks to you. Buwana anapo kunanea. Says you the end of barrenness has come into your life. There is room for you to be fruitful. If you believe that word, there shall be a performance. There shall be a performance in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you have served in ministry and you have nothing to show for it. But I want to say to you from this moment on. There shall be a performance of what you have believed in the mighty name of Jesus. Sons and daughters of the kingdom. I labor in the spirit. Fulfilling what Isaac said. When he came to the place called Rehoboth. Since now Lord you have given us rest. There is no longer contention. That I am supposed to be what you said. There is an anointing now that makes me dig a new well. It shall be called Rehoboth. There is room for me to expand. And I shall be fruitful in the land. I shall be fruitful academically. I shall be fruitful economically. I shall be fruitful in my leadership. I shall be fruitful in my ministry. This is my Rehoboth. I have come to a place of rest. Amen. Amen. Let me just give you a few reasons why you must demonstrate superior. Why you should? I've jumped a section. I just want to say to you God is glorified when we demonstrate superior results. Jesus said, herein is my father glorified. Herein is my father glorified. I want you to glorify God with superior results. Hallelujah. There must be a transfer of glorifying God. We will glorify him with our lips. But the results of our life which are superior we glorify God in the mighty name of Jesus I want you to know there are generations of men and women who have glorified God with superior results the Bible tells us in Romans 8.19 there is an earnest expectation of the whole creation to see the manifestation of the sons of God. I want to say to you, Nakuru is waiting. 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 To see Kuona. the manifestation Madihirisho. of the sons of God. Yawana wa we will not be called Christians because Christo. we have been baptized. Kwa sababu we shall not be called Christians because Christo. we are shouting in the streets. Kwa we shall be called Christians because we demonstrate 
superior results in this land katika inchi hii as nakuru becomes a city nakuru inapokuwa mji I declare an upgrading. Natangaza kuinuliwa. I am declaring an upgrading. Natangaza kuinuliwa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. I decree and I declare. Natangaza natangaza. That the sons of the kingdom. Wana wa ufalme. Shall be manifested. Watadhihirishwa. As the city is unveiled. Mji unapofunuliwa. You shall also be unveiled. Pia wewe utafunuliwa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Babylon experienced. Matukio ya Babylon. Babylon experienced. Tukio la Babyloni. One day superior sons of the kingdom. Siku moja waana bora wa ufalme. The Bible tells us King Nebuchadnezzar. Mfalme Nebuchadnezzar had made a big image to be worshiped. Aliunda kinyago kikuu ili kiabudiwe. But three Hebrew boys to there. Vijana watatu wa Kiebrania. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Daniel chapter number 3. Daniel sura ya 3. And they refused to bow to the image that the king had raised they say that is too low for us to come down we are kings and priests we don't bow to images we don't bow to images we demonstrate superior results and the bible tells us they were put into the furnace of fire and it was heated seven times the bible says god of heaven demonstrated superior results he sent his angel and delivered his servant who trusted in him and the bible tells us when the king came and saw in verse number 29 he made a decree that any people that any nation that any language which speaks against the god of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego shall be cut into pieces and their houses will be made an ash heap because there is no other God who can deliver like this superior resource of a God who delivers from fire and the Bible tells us in verse number 30 this is the epitome of this scripture because they demonstrated superior resource the king promoted the king promoted the king promoted I declare today as you demonstrate superior resources superior resources promotion will become the order of the day promotion will become the order of the day the Bible says the king promoted them and he gave them higher positions in the land of Babylon I declare decree and I declare as you demonstrate superior results you will qualify for jobs and opportunities which you never attended in I decree I reduce the days of your tamaki everybody say yes 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 my prayer is your superior results will create room for you attract promotion and glory to your God because of superior results it is not business as normal I'm saying it is not business as normal please understand when you step into the rim second thing is when you step into the rim of a superior result you silence every critic and every ridicule nobody argues with results superior result silences every critic and every ridicule 
kila mashtaka na kila kejeli before Samuel was born kabla ya Samuel kuzaliwa Penina was in charge Penina alikuwa anatawala I want to say to you nataka nikuambie before Samuel was born kabla ya Samuel kuzaliwa it was the time and the season of Penina ilikuwa ni wakati na majira ya Penina she ridiculed Hannah alikejeli Hannah she criticized Abraham akamshutumu Ibrahim he drew away their strength yeye akatoa nguvu zao she talked evil about them akawazungumza mabaya but wait until Samuel appeared goja mpaka Samuel alipotokea hallelujah han penina had to sip her mouth ilibidi penina anyamaze may you demonstrate superior results udhihirishe matukio bora to bring the end of criticism and ridicule and mockery over your life na ufikishe mwisho hali ya kushtumiwa hali ya kukejeliwa hali ya kudharauliwa maishani mwako i am a testament mimi ni shahidi i remember when we were young nakumbuka tulipokuwa wadogo somebody spoke evil of my mother mtu akazungumza maovu kumhusu mama yangu talked evil about my mother akazungumza vibaya kuhusu mama yangu but i cried to the lord lakini nikamlilia bwana i prayed lord not even by binding nikaomba bwana sio hata kwa lift us to a position do we know mpaka tufike mahali that there will be sirens until they get to the grave watanyamazishwa mpaka siku yao ya kufika Today the story is different. Leo hii mambo hayo ni tofauti. May God anoint you. Mungu akupake mafuta. From this day onward. Tangia siku ya leo. That you bring forth superior results. Utalete matukio makubwa. That will silence every penina in your life. Itanyamazisha penina wote maishani mwako. There are people that have spoken evil about you. Kuna watu wamekuzungumza vibaya. The Bible says the adversary penina provoked. Biblia inasema yule yule adui Penina akachochea. There are many people that are provoking you. Kuna watu wengi ambao wanakuchokoza. Because of your current position. Kwa sababu ya hali unayopitia. You move out of this hall today. Utakapotoka kwenye hii hall leo. You are tapped into an anointing. Utakuwa umekamata upapo. Whenever you bring results itakuwezesha kuleta mazao. That will silence Penina in your life forever. Ambayo itanyamazisha Penina maishani mwako milele. Superior results destroy contention. Matukio makuu humaliza minyeng'ano na vita. They reduce arguments and render your competitors argument baseless. Hupunguza mabishano na husababisha maadui wako ambao wanabishana na wao na, wa, na wewe wasiwe na Superior results. Matukio bora are a judgment by themselves. Yenyewe ni hukumu. The judgment you pass. Kuna hukumu ambazo unapitisha. By demonstrating superior results. Unapodhihirisha matukio makuu. By the God of heaven. Kupitia Mungu wa bingu. May you display superior results. Uweze kudhihirisha matukio bora. So that every satanic contest ili vita zote za kishetani give it your life and ministry dhidi ya maisha yako na huduma will be landed baseless iwe haina msingi tena may every life and ministry kila maisha na huduma which has faced contention ambayo imepigwa in the days of elijah kama siku za elia and in your favor na ikiwa upande wako and in your favor na katika upande wako let them say like in the days of elijah waseme kama siku za elia it is only the god of elijah ni mungu wa elia peke yake who is worthy to be praised ndiye anastahili kusifiwa finally superior results reveals hatimaye matukio bora hudhihirisha and announces your identity na kutangaza wewe ni nani may there be proof in your life that you are a son of god na madhibitisho tosha ya kwamba wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. The anointing will help you to eliminate any contradiction. Upako itakusaidia kuondoa hali yoyote ya shaka. Listen, listen to me now. Tafadhali nisikize. Most of us when we say we are Christians. Wengi wetu tukisema sisi ni wa Kristo. People brush us off. Watu hutupuuza. Do I have people who are witnesses here? Kuna watu ambao mnashuhudia hiyo, mnakubaliana. You agree? Unakubaliana na hiyo? When you say you are born again Christian you are treated like a second class citizen. Ukisema wewe ni Mkristo unachukuliwa kama Mkristo wa kiwango cha pili. But in the name of Jesus. Lakini katika jina la Yesu. Truly as I live. Kweli kama niishivyo. And as my master liveth. Na Bwanaangu jinsi alivyo hai. I pray today. 
that there will be a manifestation of superior results from your life that will eliminate controversy and contradictions that you are a son of God anything that contradicts your position as a king you know, let me just say this in conclusion. You're a king. Anything in your life that contradicts your position. Please, please, please hear this. Anything that contradicts your position. Anything that contradicts your kingship. Let it from today be repressed by superior results. We will say we are sons of the kingdom and to the last statement we shall have a proof and a testament and a token we are kings na mpaka msemo wa mwisho tutakuwa na ushuhuda tutakuwa na ushahidi ya kwamba sisi ni wafalme